moving right along here at the NSISC swim meet. Day two is in the books, joined by Delta State coach Daniel Murray. Coach, your men were itching for a win today, and it all got started off with your new guy, Matteo Fraki. Uh, 200 IM, came out of lane six and just kind of killed everybody. How important it you, you got You got him at semester break. What's he been like for you so far? Uh, Matteo's been great. Um, I, you know, it's, it's great when you get an athlete that buys in immediately. And throughout the entire recruiting process, he was fantastic. He let us know what he was doing in training. And uh, so when he got here, we had a pretty good idea of what he needed, and he was ready to go, and, and uh, he's been great. Another guy that came out with a big win for you, Fabrice Wendell in the 50 free. Another not, you know, the, the big lanes. He was in lane three, came out and killed it. Another huge win, in, and that's what it's been close with us in Lindenwood and all that. Is that another one we needed to get? Without a doubt. Uh, Lindenwood, they brought their A game. For this weekend and we knew that coming in they've got a great coach great program and um you know our guys have really they knew they've got to step up in some other events and uh, the 50 i'll tell you what the guys were lights out tonight i couldn't have asked for anything more and then your men's 200 free relay also won what, what's different about today than yesterday with your guys uh it's a new day it's a new opportunity uh really with all of them they knew that, that their best ones were in them they just needed to get a good night's rest and uh you know, they just needed some cap and goggles and a jammer and a really good speech from our team captains that are ready to go. Good. Danny Mirholz now a two-time conference champ just in this meet so far. She won the 500 free today. She, we talked about yesterday her being on her A game. Is she, is she, do you think as the competition goes on, she's going to keep getting better? Uh, Danny, I'll tell you what, she has had to battle sickness for the last couple, uh, about a week and a half. And for her to show up, do well in the morning, turn around and do well again at night, uh, this should be giving her a lot of confidence going into nationals. She's worked her tail off, and uh, I, I'm very, very proud of her. So we've got two more days of swimming. One thing to point out, too, is that this is hard. There's only a few events every night, but there's just so much swimming going on. What are you saying to your team, you know, after tonight to keep them going through the next two days? Uh, with, with all of them, it's, they know what they need to do, and we have a lot of meetings before the season uh, starts and before every meet. But uh, the number one thing they've got to do is take care of their bodies and they know exactly how to do that. And as long as they're doing that, they will hold up throughout the week. And uh, so far they've been doing that. We'll find out in the next couple of days who, uh, who's done the better job of that, but I I'm very proud of them. Perfect, good luck tomorrow, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.